Spoon and Exiles one, guys. I was ranting a little bit, so I want to see what we have here. Oh, Radiant Item, nice. I wasn't really paying attention, I was just ranting, you know. Classic, guys, classic. Is my early game good? It's kind of weird, right? My early game is kind of weird, but now it's safe. Okay, so what do we do though? Like we have we have an Archangel. I do want to go for Archangel, right? Or what else do I do? Crown Guard? Not really. Archangel is very awkward though. I don't have an AP carry. I should have played her. I hope I still win this fight. I am level eight. Eh, I'm I'm level five, and he's level three. So I should win this fight. That's good. So we do have an Ari. We just go Archangel and Ari. We don't have an Arcanist other than that, though. So we won't have her uh, thing active. But Arcanist is just bonus AP for the whole team. So I feel like she's not going to do anything. Now I do have double Sniper. Do I have double Duelist? I do not. I have Sniper and it's a Kogma. And Kogma actually scales with AP. I think this is the right decision now. I think this should be the right decision. He scales with armor, so we give him the armor. Behemoth. I'm never gonna play this now. I'm never gonna play this girl. I can buy Tristana, because if I get... I don't know, is there a duelist that scales with AP? Probably not, right? I mean Yasuo, but not... Like it's a one cost. Uh, Volibear, but not really. Yeah, other than that, no. Just Volibear and Yasuo, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're good. I mean, this is fine, man. We just play these snipers. The further they are from the enemies, the more damage they deal. Archangel of the Kogma. It's okay. Like, we definitely want to upgrade. Ooh. Ooh. Diana is so broken, I feel like. Every time I play her, she pops off. But I don't have anything to activate her. I don't have Sage. And she's so expensive, right? It's too expensive, guys. It's too expensive. I can't afford her. It's way too expensive, man. Like, buying two Di Dianas and then never finding a two-star Diana until, like, stage 3, 5 or something. Like, it's just a losing game. So let's just chill. I'm never gonna play Ari. Uh, this guy's just trying to lose. Oh, this is such a cute augment, guys. Sharing is caring. You gain t two gold and your opponent gains one gold. It used to be you gain one gold and your opponent gains one gold. That was trash, bro. That was the dumbest thing ever. I had one lobby where two people had it. I just got two gold for free. And they went dead last. That was crazy. Alright, we'll take it. At least they buffed it to two gold. That's pretty good, honestly. That's really good, though. It's not even bad. Two gold is a lot. Every turn. And the enemies only get one gold, because you're only gonna fight everyone once early game, right? And you get 10 gold. That's actually insane. High key. And it's a cool idea. It was just very weak, right? That was, that's why it was just goofy. I'll just go for the Bramble, I think. Not Sunfire. Frick it. It was really close that we got that. Uh, now what? Oh, I should have played that, no? Should I have leveled and played that? I am on a win streak. I should have leveled and played that, bro. But you know what? I feel like my win streak is a little bit fake. Because I have a 1 star, 1 cost carry. So, I feel like, yeah. And I have a 1, one star this, 1 star this. I feel like my win streak was a little bit just luck, right? So, it's fine to just make 20, I think. Either way is fine. I, I, like, you would have to scout to figure out what, what's correct. But I'm too lazy to scout. GG, guys. These are. Man, this guy's level 5. So am I. Also, no, leveling was never correct. I thought I'm level 4. Brother, it costs 16. Ne leveling is never corrected. We just got lucky that we won. Freaking. We take the triple win streak and now we just drop it. All good. Very good. There we go. We're holding the Cho'Gath because he's a behemoth. Which I'm gonna replace the Shen with if I get a 2 star. But I'm not really getting a 2-star, am I? Okay, I mean, here, I hope I win. But even if I lose, I sell everything. This this freaking uh, Kogma, even if he becomes a 2-star now, is not going to be good enough for stage 3. It's just a 1-cost, right? 
deals a decent amount of damage, but that's about it. Like, he's getting out damaged by freaking Shen. No offense. So we just chill. Uh, what do we play late game? So we're, we'll just let the Radiant item dictate it, right? Whichever Radiant item we get, we get five choices, right? So whichever one we pick is gonna decide our comp. Hopefully something that can use Archangel as well. Mm, what could use Archangel? What could use Archangel here? Uh, I think I'm down to sell him. What could use Archangel? I'm not sure. Like, we shouldn't think about going level 9, right? Let's think about these guys. I mean, honestly, Morgana isn't even bad. I think Morgana could be pretty dang. Also, I should have checked who's exalted. Oh, we did get exalted now. That's a base. That's really good, bro. Now we're gonna get 1 XP every turn for free. The exalted trait is always different every single uh, game. Uh, different units are exalted. So we got lucky that we're already using the Exalted units. And we got a Sniper Exalted unit here. Very good. We're getting a little bit of bonus damage increase, so it's worth to play it even late game. It's very worth to play it, actually. Like, the Exalted trait is very good late game. Silas, Nautilus, Azir. Loki, I could play Azir. Guardbreaker. Just go Guardbreaker. I'm down to play Morgana as well. We're gonna with Archangel and just go infinite frontline. And then she just eventually just kills everything. When the Archangel stacks up. Uh, Azir also very dank with Archangel for sure. We just need a big frontline, but we, we're not sure if we can reach level 9. Level 9 is uh, very far. It's still very far away, so we don't want to think about that yet. This is good though. Do I just go, uh, do I just go Guardbreaker? I feel like Guardbreaker is perfectly fine, right? I mean, surely I can't be that greedy, right? I can't be that freaking greedy, man. This is good enough. Let's go. Huge. This guy has a... a Philios as well. Okay, let's see what the next augment is. Hopefully not a silver augment. Gold augment. There's our hex core that we can sell for 1 XP. Know your enemy. Too healthy. I mean, I'm not gonna play a reroll comp. Jewel Lotus with the thing is super good. Most likely just Jewel Lotus. Sure, we'll take that. Okay. Jewel Lotus. We can just level here. Play this lady. Good enough. Get more heavenly. She's gonna give us health to the entire team. So that's pretty good. Getting... Getting a uh, crit chance as well from Kha'Zix. This is good, man. I kind of want to play Heavenly the entire game now. Because I have Kha'Zix. Gives the entire team crit chance. Which usually isn't that good. But with Jewel Lotus, it's insane. Okay, I mean, we're chilling. We're freaking chilling. Okay, so this should be a good one. The Nico is already fully stacked with the Mythic trait. So she gets a bunch more health, attack damage, and AP, but it should be fine. He has a much stronger Kogma because of the Mythic trait as well, but it's fine. I, like, my Kogma has better... Um, not better items, but better frontline, you know? And there we go, we keep getting the Exalted XP. We're getting 10% current bonus damage. She's a little bit OP. Not sure if I should play her instead of this guy. She is very OP, actually. The thing is, I have Sniper, I have nothing for her. Looks awkward, right? I have nothing for her, I have no Umbral to make her stronger. Yeah, this is just not worth. Nah, just chill. This could be a Shojin. The problem with Shojin is... What if a Radiant Shojin shows up or something? Or a Radiant Mana item or... Just a Radiant whatever, magic damage item, right? Have you been offered the Garden Augment yet? No, unfortunately not. The Garen carry augment is super cool, but unfortunately we didn't get it offered. Hopefully soon. I always, every round, I hold some Garens, just in case. Every single start of the game, I hold Garens. This is a good loss. This is a decent loss, considering I'm playing Exalted and getting bonus XP, right? 
we are scaling. Now the question is, what do I want here for my sword? I think I'm just gonna build a tank item, or I'll build towards a tank item. I mean, there's something really good if I can get this. But I don't think I can get this, bro. But if I can get that, it's insane. Frick it? Like a Babus? Nah, he took it. I wanted the Morgana. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Galio. It's a 4 cost, it's a tier, I can go Shoujin. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go Shoujin now. It is gonna be much stronger for the next two fights, which is significant. Next two fights, I'll be much stronger. Um, so this is an Ash, which is a sniper, but she's so freaking trash. And I'm not gonna buy her here. I'm not gonna buy her here. She's so freaking awful. I will not buy her. I'm gonna be greedy. I'm gonna sell him if I win. I get 50. I feel like I should go Shoujin, man. And then I can go Guardbreaker on somebody else. I right, freaking like I think I can win the fight if I go Shoujin here. But she's gonna snipe me, bro. She's a three-star freaking Caitlyn. She's gonna snipe me. No, he's gonna get one shot. Oh man. Oh wait! He's body blocking Shen! Oh nice! The Aphelios body blocked. Okay, nice. She just casts once and does so much damage, but she's just one unit just dies. The furthest unit from her. From Caitlyn. He A lot of people are playing Caitlyn reroll, man. Caitlyn and Kogma reroll. I don't know if it's that good. But I've seen it do well. Uh, this is an encounter that does nothing. It's just for uh, show. It's just fun. It's just funny. Everyone gets bigger and then smaller again. That's it. Just a little social thing, you know? For the people that have uh, social... Uh, for the people that have no social anxiety. Bro, this is just not fair, you know? It's just not fair, man. Low-key, it's just not fair, right? Is it fair? Is it fair? It's not fair, right? I mean, Loki is this, bro. Loki is this. Like, a high key is this. Okay, high key. This is gonna be the best freaking girl you'll ever see, man. This Morgana is gonna be the best Morgana you'll ever see. For sure. Like, for sure. You know how broken Ra Radiant Rabadons is? It's 50% bonus damage, 70 AP. Like, what? She's gonna ult every four attacks with this. She's gonna get bonus crit from this. She has a huge AoE as her ult. I mean, this is a force, no? Actual force, no? Why not, why not uh, Archangel instead of the Guardbreaker? Because the Guardbreaker is just especially good on Morgana. She has a huge AoE that hits a lot of units. So she's very likely to hit someone that has a shield. And then she's gonna get the bonus damage. And also I have Jewel Lotus. Which is gonna allow her to crit. So the bonus crit chance from this is very good. Just all across the board, extremely good. It also gives attack speed. So it's good with the Shoujin. She's gonna cast more often. It's just very, very good in this case. Just in this case. Okay, and then do I play Ghostly or what? Like, do you play six Ghostly, Morgana, or no? Like, what do I play? Like, how do you play Morgana? Does anyone know? Sage? Okay, so if we play Sage... Who gets the thing? I'm leveling next turn, right? I'm only on a double win streak. I'm fine if I lose this. I'm leveling next turn. So I kind of want to play Exalted, but I'm not going to play Ka Although I could play some Heavenly. No, no, no. I do play Kha'Zix, bro. I play Kha'Zix. I play Soraka with Archangel. Yeah. Let's go, guys. We play, uh... We play Kha'Zix. Okay. So we already have Kha'Zix. Uh, it's gonna be a really strong team, guys. It's gonna be a really freaking strong team. Amazingly strong. 
Uh, I do not want this. New recruit is fine. I'm about to level and roll. Working his crown. New recruit is fine. New recruit is very, very good, actually. Which is fine. I win the game for free. I win the game for free. I do need I do need a dude though. I win the game for free. Like literally for free. It's actually just stupid now. It's not even fun anymore. It's not even fun anymore. I just win the game for free. Should we just FF guys? Uh, no. I'm not going to. I'm actually having a lot of fun. GG! Well deserved guys! That's why you take freaking new recruit when you're about to roll 50 gold on 8. You get two legendaries of the same thing. Boom! It's a two star, baby boy. Shen, Ephelios, Nautilus. I can play Nautilus, right? Why did I sell Nautilus? Let's move. I've got people to Our will is alive. This is the dark world. You know, like, it looks bad, right? It looks bad, right, to you right now? It looks bad to you, but it's actually insane. Like, we're freaking going giga forced. It's a giga freaking forced, man. You can just hold the items. So, look at my team. Look at my team. My team is gonna be this, this. Shen, that's three ghostly units. We go this idiot. We go, we go. This is actually so satisfying. So freaking satisfying. Because I get to play this whole thing without sacrificing a single unit for value, right? Like, I, I get to play Exalted without sacrificing any value on my units. Uh, this is just nasty, bro. Right, I'm just gonna go Giant Slayer on this guy. This guy's a melee, melee uh, damage dealer. Melee, melee carry, melee... Uh, kind of like a bruiser type champion, right? He's very cool. Every time he ults, he has a very low mana cost. 30 mana. So blue buff is not even bad. Okay, who gets Bramble? Who gets the Bramble vest, guys? Just Ilawi, or do we give it to him? Does it make sense to go tanky on him? I don't think so, freaking. Just give it to Ilawi, right? I got one gold again from this guy. Oh yeah, now Nautilus would get it. Nautilus would get it, yeah. I'm sad I sold my Nautilus, bro. This guy's so tanky with his Radiant War modes. I mean, to be fair, look at my team, man. Like, I, I, need, I need Morgana, bro. The thing is, I have zero gold now. I just need to collect gold until after Raptors now. Just gotta collect gold until after Raptors. Wait, hold up. No, no, no. I'm not buying these. I'm, I'm not, yeah. Okay, so I don't need this anymore. I don't really need this anymore. I'm not going three star on her. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. I just need um, these two guys. We ditch the two snipers and that's our board. Perfect. We will have Warden. We will still keep Exalted because we will just kick the... Oh wait, are we keeping Exalted? Oh yeah, we are, yeah. Because we're putting uh, the, the Nautilus. Yeah, perfect guys. Really good team. It's gonna be such a good team, man. He's actually playing Kerry Zyra. Look how bad she is. She almost lost to freaking Kerry Kogma at stage 4-6. That's crazy, no? 
Gusar and how much damage did he do? He doesn't have his items yet. He needs some Omni Vamp. He has no Omni Vamp at all. It's a melee carry with zero Omni Vamp. Like, that is just not gonna work. Like, we will get it at some point, though. We'll get some Omni Vamp at some point. I need to check how many people are playing Morgana. I... I, I actually can't believe I don't have one. Okay, one guy has a two-star. That's it. Like, you cannot tell me this is reasonable RNG. That is just dumb. That is just straight up dumb. That is pretty dumb, guys. Holy frick, the last roll, Jesus Christ, this game is not very good, man. This game is not very good. Alright, we go Hodge. Do I lock for this guy? Probably, right? This game is not very good, no? That I don't find that for like 15 years. And this is a huge upgrade, even one star Morgana is gonna deal a bunch of damage. No, 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 this is just the back sizes, guys. The back sizes have no excuses by the deaths. This is just very, very bad. The fact that I can't find this thing is just crazy. So stupid. All right, let's go. We are very strong now. We have such a satisfying team. This is probably the strongest team that I've built without, like, three-star legendary or something, this set. Like, a level eight team, this is the strongest I built. Two-star Morgana, two-star Nautilus, I win the game. Two-star Disco. Like, I, I actually win the game. It's a, so good. So good, bro. So freaking good. The, the Wukong is strong. All across the board, it's just a strong team. The Morgana is gonna cook so hard now. But I low-rolled so hard on my roll down that it's... Just, yeah. Like, I got the two-star Wukong. And I thought, like, okay, nice. I win the game for free. But look how much damage Morgana is doing. Look. She just kills the backline by herself. Now she's not focusing him, so we just lose. Sad. How much we can do? How much we can do, guys? We'll just be stuck level 8 here. We need 2-star Morgana. This is... Like, again, these bag sizes don't really have any excuse. The Morgana guy is still alive. He's playing Zyra reroll. And he's actually doing well. But Loki, it's only because I low-rolled so hard. Like, there's no way I would lose to Zyra reroll, man. This is the worst freaking unit, man. Every time I play this unit, it's so bad. Like, when I play a 2-star, even, give her some items, it does nothing. I'm gonna do this so he doesn't get focused first, but it's a, it's a little bit awkward. We don't have, a, we don't have like, a armor pen and magic pen, right? That's also a big problem, but... Like, we have a hybrid team, so we can't really have both, right? It's kind of, it's kind of annoying. The Wukong is really cool, but he is underwhelming here, I have to say. We even got two Sage because the Wukong is Sage. I didn't even notice that. I mean, this this game should have been like an easy top one if I just didn't Giga Laurel. Like, how come he has a 3-star Zyra and a 2-star Morgana? Like, what? I rolled all my gold on 8. He rolled at level 6 and 7 to 3-star Zyra. And then he rolls for Morgana and he finds everything. Adds a defensive component. That's so annoying. Mm. I probably shouldn't have gone for this one. I think I don't want Giant Slayer on him. Like, double Giant Slayer. Actually, I have to, right? I have to just stack him. And he gets Omni Vamp from the thing. He should be fine. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? Oh yeah, that's huge. Do I lock this? No, right? I, I can't afford to lose this fight. Alright, oh, yeah, honestly, this is good. I'm way stronger now. 
The thing is, they are both streaking as well. Okay, this game had such bad RNG, man. Like, the fact that they both didn't fight each other for so long, that the flames are completely on fire. Like, what the frick is this, man? It's actually crazy. They avoided each other for like 15 stages. And Morgana is good. I lost to a ghost. Am I locking this? I mean, there's no other upgrades, right? This is my last upgrade left. Okay, so this guy lost to him. This guy lost to him. This guy has a much worse frontline than the other guy. Like, this guy has such a good frontline, right? So it's hard to get through. Like, isn't Morgana, isn't Morgana supposed to be pretty strong? I don't think I explained the ghostly trait yet. So Morgana um, is a ghostly unit, right? And they basically send out these little ghosts that stack on the enemies, that they attach to them, and then the enemies take more damage. And when the enemy dies, the ghosts wander to the next enemy. Like, okay, no, my, my Wukong just slapped them for so much. Nah, there's no way the Wukong... Like, the Wukong definitely was good to itemize. Yeah, yeah, like... This was good, this was good. I, I think everything was fine. Like, the Wukong is definitely good to itemize, right? It's a two-star freaking Wukong. I'm getting how much damage from Exalted? 12%, which is pretty good. I have my two-star now. Now I just try to level to nine, which is gonna give us... 9% uh, damage on Exalted as well, right? 9% damage increase on Exalted. Which is really not bad, right? Uh, or 1% bonus, right? So we're gonna get what? We're gonna get um, a 13 bonus, right? Because 4 is base, base percentage. And then we just play... We can play Altruist. We can play Rakan, which makes sense, I think. If we can level here... It is stage 6 only. I am not necessarily dead in one shot here. There's a Shoujin for the for the girl. She's doing a decent amount of damage. Not sure if I should itemize her or if I should itemize Kane. I wish I could remove the Giant Slayer. Like, I was even thinking about giving Giant Slayer to Kane. I think I'll go Edge of Night, right? Edge of Night on Kane is the best. But we do get a lot of Omni Vamp. I think Edge of Night on Kane is the best, though. I don't think we can argue with that. Like, I wish I could go Edge of Night on him, but again, I was thinking about putting Giant Slayer on Kane. But if I do that, then I have a two-item two uh, Wukong for two more fights there. And I don't know if I'll get an Edge of Night, right? You can no never predict that. And double Giant Slayer is actually insane against this Thresh. So I think now we can get through it. The Edge of Night on the guy is cooking. Nice! We beat him. That's big, that's big. Um, so the Wukong is probably one of the coolest legendaries in the game right now. Because what he does is... Um, Every time he ults, his stick gets larger, so his ultimate gets larger. And he has like three different ults. He slaps down his his uh, staff. Um, he has a cycle of the following abilities. Slap the stack, slap, slap the stick down, and that gets bigger every time he gets through a cycle. Then he spins, that also gets bigger, right? And then the last one is dash to hit the most enemies in the line, and then, yeah. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's good enough, it's good enough. As long as Zyra is focusing this guy, my tank. Also, we're against Ghost. We're against Ghost. Loki, we win this, right? Loki, we win this. The Zyra lost against this guy as well, though. It's kind of hard. Like, the Zyra player has too much health. Okay, we win against Ghost very convincingly. We're almost level 9. We're going to get 1% increased damage, which is okay. And the Rakan is a very good unit. Altruist is also going to give our whole team... Uh, tankiness, and it's gonna make our Soraka heal our lowest health ally for 15% of her damage. And the Rakan as well, but the Rakan without the items. It's not gonna deal that much damage. I could level right now, and I think I have to, right? And then just donkey roll for Rakan. Like, I have to do that. And then I just play a random unit here that does anything. Arcanist, if I can find it. Our will align. There is an Arcanist, but I don't have money for it. Uh, 
Okay, this is good, I think. This is good, I think. Uh, nice, he, he went in. I, I, I was trying to put him in there, but I'm on 200 MS on TV, so he switched positions again, the Vuko. We wanted to have him in the middle. Nice, look at this staff, it gets so big. I mean, we Giga low rolled, but we're still winning the fights. Like, this, that's why I was so excited about my team, right? My team is so freaking uh, nice. Uh, Zoe is gonna give the entire team 20 AP. Arcanist. Is there a Riven? Riven is Altruist. There isn't. I wanted that Protector's Vow. I mean, you know I don't have heal reduction. You know I don't have heal reduction. Do I go heal reduction on Soraka or on Kane? Kane is a better unit, but he, he's not gonna apply it as well. Soraka has a nice AoE. Raka has a nice AOE. Oh, nice. Stick to the plan. We have a plan? Altruist, like a Babus. I could give it to to the Kane. I could give it to I could give it to the to the guy. He's gonna apply it the best. He's gonna apply it the best. I think we give it to the guy who applies it the best. He has a huge AoE. We just gotta apply the rep buff, man. Yeah, look, he has a huge AoE. Rakan is an AoE damage dealer, guys, in this set. He's an AoE. He does not... Uh, please, guys, kill this guy, please. He's gonna kill us. Oh, no, no, no. We're fine, we're fine. Bro, I'm kinda getting a huge comeback, no? After hitting my entire team. This is why I was getting so excited. Like, it's such a cool team, man. Like, this is the type of team you will play with Exalted in Ranked, right? That's why I was getting so excited. True. I'm just rolling for, uh... For Rakan too, I guess. I could also go Archangel on him, but he's gonna die too fast. This guy is so freaking strong now, man. I'm gonna put uh, Wukong in the middle. I'm against Ghost again. Deserved. So I'm at least top two, right? I'm at least top two because they they kill each other. Unless the guy with 13 health. Actually, I think 13 health is base, maybe, at level six. At stage six. Maybe not, though. And remember, guys, Sage. The Sage trait gives everyone uh, in the front rows Omnivamp and everyone in the back two rows uh, AP. Okay, this guy got really strong now. Like he's oh nice, the Azir died. The Azir died to the AoE of Morgana. I hope they make the Morgana AoE a little bit more flashy. He has a two-star Azir, which is very powerful. We made it to stage seven, bro. Like this was such a low roll game. Like I cannot stress enough how freaking stupid it is to not find a single Morgana with 60 gold. Like I found two Wukongs, but no Morgana. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> not bad. All right, we can get another tank item on this guy as well, or a damage item on Kane. Kane is very good, and he has his Reaper trait active as well, so I guess more crit chance. Stick to the plan. Do you have a plan? Okay, we didn't hit. Sad. This is the last fight, so... I mean, Giant Slayer is really good, bro. I could go um, the thing on him for even more tankiness. I feel like Giant Slayer is really good, though, against this enemy. On Kane. Because the Kane cooks, bro. The Kane cooks. Like, we just gotta kill these freaking tanks. The Kane actually giga cooks. Come on, Wukong! Okay? Nah, we lose this, right? Like, this guy got too strong. He's level 10, right? <laughs> he was too ahead early game. Ah, we'll take it, though, man. We'll take it, though. Zyra reroll wins, but... Yeah, maybe I'll try it. Maybe I'll try it, guys. I don't think that's the right build, though, but... Uh, Radiant uh, Nasher's Tooth is a very strong item. So maybe he can cook. 
Uh, we will take it, man. Bro, I cannot stress enough how low roll this game was. Like, how the frick do we not find a single Morgana? It's beyond me. It's just the bag sizes, right? I don't know why they insist on keeping uh, 10 forecasts of each kind instead of 12, like they used to have, because the headliners are gone. There's no reason to have this mechanic anymore. Yeah, it is. it is. Uh, it causes a lot of frustration. Oh, well, we will take it, though, guys. Subscribe, ring the bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the algorithm so I can get some more views. I'll see you next time.